the devil came to Jesus Christ and suggested the way Jesus could get the world on a platter of gold when Jesus was tempted at the wilderness. He told Jesus Christ, it was like I was telling Jesus Christ, see, if you can only bow down to me, the world is yours for taking. Jesus turned that down. He turned that down. Short court is one way to stop people from getting to where they have to get to. All of us must carry the cross and follow Jesus Christ. There will be persecution. Any attempt to try to judge persecution and all that is short caught. And we won't get anywhere. We must carry a cross and follow Jesus every day. You must go through persecution. Everything that Jesus Christ went through, every time of God is supposed to go through it. Refuse it to go through where Jesus Christ, how Jesus Christ made it, a short cord. Trying to get the world, everything that is yours, to balance the devil, is the shortest cord of getting there. There are a lot of people that are prospering today because they have taken the short cord. Instead of them to bow down to Jesus and wait until the time Jesus glorifies them, they decide to bow and worship in the church of the devil. Worshiping in the church of the devil is short cord. Worshiping the devil, no matter whatever it is that you're going to get, is a short cord. A woman whom God had ordained she was going to get to marry somebody, she knew it, decided to take the short cord. She went to her habilis and got stamped and married the person. Though it was the will of God for her to get the husband that she went through, that means is disobeying God and it's a short cord. And she found herself in problems. It was it was Jacob. Jacob was actually supposed to be the one that God had chosen. Instead of them to wait until God shows up, wait until God half his way, overhearing what Isaac told Esau. He and his mother came up together and plotted how to rob Esau of his own birthright. What they felt was his birthright in court. By doing that, they were taking a shortcut. Jacob, for that, had to go away from his own father. If it were not because God had insisted it had to be him, he would have lost Zenit, the best part, the greatest place God had wanted him to. Many Christians today are not going to make heaven because they take the shortcut. Trying to take the shortcut is disastrous for every child of God. We have to learn to obey and go to heaven the way God wants us to. I was watching a film the other day. It was Christian, I think. I've seen two types of Christian. I don't know which exactly. But if that Christian, someone decided, instead of going to heaven through the waters, he decided to go on a boat, making it easier for himself. Christian, in that thing, swore. He encountered problems, almost died. But then he was brought back to life. And he was the one that entered heaven. If you don't want to end up like the other person who wanted to find out an easy way, who found out an easy way actually to make heaven, losing heaven in the end, you have to do what Christian did. Do the doable. And don't do the undoable. And you will make the kingdom. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, let us not follow shortcuts. Following shortcuts stops us from ever getting where we're supposed to. Even when we get to where we're supposed to, that we follow the shortcut at all. It's not going to give us exactly what we need. May we, by the power of the Holy Ghost God Almighty, do everything that you expect of us so that we can get to heaven the way you want us to. We don't want shortcuts, God Almighty, because it prevents people from achieving where achieving what God wants them to achieve. Help us not to follow shortcuts and later on we left to heaven to follow the long course. Wasted energy and so many things. In Jesus' name we pray.